So we're going to take our first shot and find out where we currently sit. So here's our point of aim and here's our point of impact. So let's go make a few adjustments and see if we can get this to come back over. So one of the neat features on the reticle calibration will be being able to freeze the frame. You can choose to do this and then you'll move your crosshairs over from your point of aim to your point of impact or you can just move your X and Y axis. I'm just going to go ahead and move my X and Y axis because I know how far over and up I need to go. And if you look, when I make the X change, you can see the white crosshairs moving. Now that we made our changes, let's find out where we are now just to true everything up. So now that we made our shots, we can see the difference. This is our first shot. This is our second shot. And I'm not in the most stable position, so let's do some follow-ups. Well, I got one close, and then I got one right above it, and I feel like that's just me and how I'm positioned shooting. You can see this is where we started, and this is where we currently are on our second, third, and fourth shot. So I want to take me two shots at about 200 yards. We're going to shoot this 33% IPSC. I know that my drop is about three inches. Here's my first shot. We're at the top of the 33% IPSC. And let's do our second shot. <laughs> 